the Twins cast. Why are you pointing at me, John? Why did I say the name of the show, damn it, Egg? Yeah, it's Twins cast. Thank you. I'm John. I'm Egg, I guess. And we got a special guest again today. We have Desiree. <laughs> DZ Dizzles. <laughs> Sorry. Say hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Say hi to your adoring fans oh. that all flocked here just to <clears throat> listen to your dulcet tones. What do we call them? Da Dazzerites? Dazzies. What? Dazzies. Yeah, your fan base is called Dazzies now. Oh, God. <laughs> all, all those groupies flocking. I don't think I have that many. <laughs> all those fangirls flocking to the Canadian border just to get across it, just to meet just you. Just to get the sweet dizzles. Just to get that sweet dizzles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can picture it. <laughs> so, if anybody who does, if you've been living under a rock, which I don't blame you because rocks are very comfortable, they're very safe and it's very, very economic in these trying times. Exactly. And you don't know who Dazrain is. He's awesome. He's a great guy. Does videos on YouTube, does a bit of streaming, does a lot of horror games like that. Anything fun. It's part of the WUG community. He's a great guy, and he does not punch puppies. He does not punch puppies. That is that is a proven fact. We have we have that on record. He does not punch puppies. Yep, good to know. Damn right. Damn right. I'm not doing that at the moment. At the I'm moment. Not. Oh, don't oh, say that. John, <laughs> edit that out of context. <laughs> edit that I'm out. Kidding. <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Edit that out. <laughs> so I do not punch puppies, kittens, or any small baby animal. Oh, so just the baby animals. So just regular babies. I no, I don't. You punch said those. no baby animals. Is this coming back to the pelican racism thing? Yes. Because <laughs> they're avians. I have no. Pro Wait, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> On to the topics. On to the hard hitting topics <laughs> now. So I like to. Br I like to. Br you've probably seen this before. I like to break the ice. You know, the ice has already been broken. It's Pretty been much. shattered already. But I like to start out with a nice little discussion with Super Fight. Yes, sir. So. I've played this with you before. Yep. Yeah. So we are going to start this out with a simple fight. And we will we will kind of talk amongst ourselves and figure out who will win this fight. Yeah. So we got two combatants entering this ring. Okay. We have mm. Ash. It doesn't oh, say God. which Ash, but oh. I'm going to assume it's Evil Dead Ash. Are we all in agreement? I don't know. It could be Pokemon Ash. But it doesn't say well, that. Yeah, but it, it doesn't say Ash Ketchum. It just says Ash. Yeah, or it could just be literal Ash. Like a pile of Ash. A... Oh, God. Dizzy, what do you say? I'd go with Evil Dead. We're going with Evil Dead Ash, okay, then, because the guess one. is here. The guess wins. Two to one. Right. And the Navy. Or it could be the Navy, and the, they just misspelled it. The entire it. Navy? It says the Navy. It doesn't say what country's Navy. No, it does not. All right, so we'll work with that. We'll work do we with assume that. U.S. or do we? Uh, we'll just say U.S. Navy because it says the Navy. So okay. I think whenever anybody says the Navy, it's generally the the American Navy. But that's just what I thought. Because okay. does, it, be does Canada have a Navy? What does Canada have a Navy? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm pretty sure most countries actually have a navy okay, of I, some I, sort. I don't know. I don't know if you can ride a moose <laughs> underwater, but that's just me. No, no, it's the beavers. <laughs> the beavers. You're right. They're, they're aquatic, so that'll work. They're semi-aquatic. No, we just have wooden submarines. Oh, okay. Okay. Made For, piloted right? by beavers. Okay. okay. <laughs> Makes sense. So And fueled by maple syrup. Okay. <laughs> so Ash, his first power-up, okay... Ash has been bitten by a radioactive uh, blank, and I need to draw a character card. Oh, boy. So Ash has been bitten by a radioactive... Don't I swear, if it's a radioactive Ash, Let me catch pick him. One. Okay, you draw a deck. Here, okay. here. You, take, you take the deck. You, you draw it. Draw okay. something good. Picking from the middle of the deck. <clears throat> Ash has been bitten by a radioactive Hydra. Oh, dear God. So uh, it's like Hydra? Hydra Man? Hail Hydra. Hail uh -huh. Hydra. Ah. Uh. All right, and the Navy is can fly at the speed of molasses. So pretty much they're doing what they do in water. But why would the Navy fly? Well, no, they got the jets, so. Eh. Well, they have flying boats. The flying boats. It's like Somehow. an airship. Well, yes. aren't planes technically flying boats? <laughs> um, 
No. No. No, they go in the water. They go in the air like boats go in the water. That doesn't. That no. No, Egg. I mean, there there are planes that you could kind of call boats because they are able to land on yeah. water. Pontoon the amphibious, boats. Yeah, pontoon boats. Thank you. Yeah, but or planes, whatever. Yeah, they're they're not all boats. All right. It's so, like all boats yeah, but, it's a, but it, one can argue, and I'm just going to say this, and then we can move on. That if boats go in water and and planes go in the air, one aren't planes the equivalent of boats for the sky? Yeah. In all honesty, I would think it'd be more blimps. Eh. Blimps feel like more boats. So what are planes well, then? If you're going to make that argument, then you might as well say that cars are boats for the road. Yeah. That's that's a given. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Now back so, on topic. So it's it's a suit. It's Ash from Evil Dead with like Hydra powers. Okay. okay. So you cut off his head. Two more grow. Basically. Versus a really slow flying navy. No, they can fly. S no, they're not slow. They just fly slow. That's what I said. No, yeah. the way you said. Whatever. Shut up, Egg. <laughs> Who do you think would win these? Mm. Now, I, I do have to say this. That kind of. He, he kind of already showed that kind of a power in Army of Darkness, if you remember that movie. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember Army of Darkness very well. Does you remember the second head? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. that, that didn't end well. No, it, no, it didn't. I, no. I think it'll all depend on if he can get his if if the heads can actually cooperate. Right. This is true. All right. Right, but the other thing is, how big is this navy? Yeah. If it's the true. navy, if it, well, I would if assume it's, it's the entire navy. Well, I'm gonna but, say this: if it's a navy versus one guy with a chainsaw hand and a shotgun, mm -hmm. it's kind of a no-brainer. There is one added thing, though. Yeah. Hydras are typically extremely large creatures. So yeah. you would say Ash would, would he grow... he gain size from that? So would you say Ash would grow from the Hydra bite? Possibly. Yeah, I would say that. Well, still, even it depends... Hydras are normally not that big. If we're going off the Hydra from um, uh, Hercules... That's a pretty big fucking Hydra. No, 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 no. Hmm. I will say this. If you, can, if you look at the Hydra's body compared to the rest of him, it was not terribly gigantic. Right. Maybe about the size of a boat. Or like You're maybe, thinking of like long necks. Then. Yeah, it's the necks that gave it all the height. If you look at yeah, if you think true, about it. Yeah, true, I suppose. So if he was if so proportionally, he might not grow that big. So since he doesn't have a long neck. Could we agree on like 15, 20 feet tall maybe? Yeah, I would say 25 at the max. Yeah. Okay. 25 feet at the max he would so, grow. Because so it's not really full large... Hydra. It's not full Hydra. Okay. It's just like big by right. It's like Spider-Man logic. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so it's was... just a really big person. Although technically, by that logic, Spider-Man didn't shrink because of the spider. Oh, so. God damn it, well, no, no. I'm just <laughs> saying. So he just got the power. So <laughs> we're getting very off topic here. No, technically yeah, especially... this is still on topic. Especially since I now realize this does not mean his shotgun or chainsaw will grow as well. No. Yes. So those things will be small, and he would just have super Hydra powers, mm. i.e. Cut off a head and then two more uh, to grow in its place. Yeah. Right. And then again, this is the Navy. I'm pretty sure the Navy doesn't have something big enough to actually cut a head off. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, how do you kill a Hydra? How do you actually kill it? Um, I, I think remember. I'm pretty sure you have to either keep cutting off the heads until it gets bored and dies, or uh, I think stab it through the heart. I think is a traditional way. I could be wrong. I actually mm. really don't know. I'm pretty sure it's it's just stabbing it through the heart because the head is like um, it just continues to grow. If you stop the the source of the power, the heart, you turn you st you take out the battery, you take out everything else. Yeah, but wouldn't the battery be the like the brain? No, yeah. then, no, no. The battery is just like the motherboard. Yeah, the, the brain is more the motherboard. The heart would be the battery. Yeah, whatever. You're right. So I'm saying that, that the, the Navy would have to win this one, because this seems really one-sided. Should we give him another power? Yeah, let's give him another power, sure. see, if this, uh, see if this dice spices right. it up a bit. Ash, with the Super Hydra powers. Really? He's armed with a dubstep gun. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> now, let's say, let's say he's, he's giant-sized, and he has a normal-sized dubstep gun. He's not going to be able to operate that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. Mm. In the Navy, the entire Navy that can fly at the speed of molasses 
is wearing a bubble wrap suit. What? Okay. Are they wearing one single bubble wrap suit? Like, can, <laughs> like, everybody's just squeezing into it? Or is it like that's their uniform now? Well, it says a bubble wrap suit. So just one guy's wearing the bubble wrap suit? The Navy is wearing a bubble wrap suit, so I don't know. Grammar-wise, it would say it's a single suit. So is it like, oh, no, no, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's like a, it's like everybody's standing on everybody's shoulders and they're trying to match up the, the size of the giant ash in a bubble wrap suit. Hmm. I, I got nothing. Hmm. So I'm still leaning towards the Navy, even with that stupid, um, everybody in one giant bubble wrap suit. DZ, what do you think? Considering I've just been actually reading Killing a Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'm thinking it may be a draw. Why? Because how do you kill a Hydra? Apparently, the method involved, when you cut off the head, you need to cauterize the neck. So, oh! oh! To prevent a new one from growing. Okay, and then that actually basically, makes sense. Basically, when you've removed all nine heads and cauterized all nine wounds... That's it. Game over. Uh, well, apparently in traditional mythology, only one of the heads is actually immortal. Oh, okay. And then you have to go and, like, basically... Hunt that one and, down. Well, no, you take that last head and then you, you kind of put it somewhere where it <laughs> can't do yeah. anything. Yeah. I was going to stow this away yeah. in the attic next to the old well, Christmas gifts. <laughs> they, 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 they say Hercules buried it, I believe. So wait, you get wait. so you get head fruit. No, 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 no. You're saying Hercules, the demigod, this yes. this evil mythical beast that could destroy and ravage cities. Mm -hmm. He took the head of this immortal beast and just buried it in a hole. Yeah. Um. Hold on. That, that let, doesn't. Let, let me get the exact wording here. That, hold on. I'll go back to where I was. Thank you, Google. That, that doesn't make sense. Just, Google, the answer to everything. No, it um, makes sense. I just think it's... I just think that's, the, like, not the best way to deal with it. I would say throw it into a volcano or something. I mean, that worked with Mordor in the, the ring, right? I'm actually curious about that. Like, what would... Like, even if the Hydra is immortal, what happens if you throw the head in a volcano? Okay, Here well... Okay. You go Here's for, the exact wording. Yep. Once he had removed and destroyed the eight mortal heads, Hercules chopped off the ninth immortal head. Yep. This he buried at the side of the road leading to from Lerna to Elias, and for good measure, he covered it with a heavy rock. <laughs> <laughs> so he buried it and covered it with a rock. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's going to move this heavy rock. At, as for the... Re well... In his case, it was probably a boulder. Yeah, um, I guess. As for the rest of the hapless Hydra, Hercules slit open the corpse and dipped his arrows in the venomous blood. Oh, well, yeah, it does have venom blood, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, it does. Forgot about oh, that. Oh, wait. Ash with venom blood? Oh, know. shit. Oh, that kind of... I didn't think about that. Ooh. But, mm, mm. So it's like it's like alien blood, except it's venomous, not acid. So not the bubble acid. wrap suit, you can't, I'm almost certain, won't you, be you able to... You get that in your mouth, and you might have a problem. Yeah, but if they're wearing the bubble wrap suit, I'm That's sure it'll be gonna fine. That's just going to splash right off. That is That's, true. It's basically a trench cut, uh, raincoat. So, in the end, suit giant superpowered Hydra Ash with a dubstep gun that he really can't use versus an army in one giant bubble wrap suit that can fly really, really fucking slow. What do you, who do you think? Hmm. I'm still leaning towards draw. <laughs> It's a draw? I, I don't think well, one said, could actually beat the other. Yeah, because, I mean, everybody in one suit, that would be kind of hard to, you know, so, control. Yeah, so then, then Ash would just kick the Navy's ass, so it's leaning more towards Ash. Well, then you have to take into account it's a giant Ash, but he's just hitting bubble wrap. Yeah, but it's not that giant either. Yeah, he's and, only... Yeah, mm, it's a semi-giant Ash. It's 25 semi -giant. feet tall. That's not, yeah. that, that's not that great. Who's just hitting a giant wall of bubble wrap? And even then, the navy still has boats. Yeah. Yeah, they still have all their but other then, armaments. Pre presumably, those are also in the bubble wrap. No, I would. Mm, no. Yeah. Mm, they can fire right through it. It's mm, bubble wrap. Yeah, true. That's true. It's okay. bubble wrap. You can't stop a cannon fire from bubble wrap. Uh, I don't know. My okay. vote. Uh, I'm still the navy. How You're about this? Navy. Yep. We give it to the navy. Unless Ash actually manages a giant chainsaw slash shotgun. 
Yeah, yeah well, point, I'll give it to the Navy. In which point, Ash would probably win if he had all that stuff, like, the right size. But yes. since it doesn't specify, we're leaning towards the Navy. Yes. All right. All right. Although well, I do kind of like the idea of the Navy being forced to just dance constantly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but even then, you can you can still, like, launch a tactical nuke while, um, dancing. You just True, have to but press that would be the button. president. Either way... <laughs> We're moving on to Q and A. Yes. To Q and A. Yay! What? So we're gonna we got some nice questions handpicked just for you, DZ. Oh no! <laughs> okay. No, 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 no! It's fine. It's fine. Don't. <laughs> They're just, not all terrible. It's not all terrible. <laughs> all I'm right. Fine. So, first off, we're gonna start simple. What What is Dazarin? Where did you get the name? Actually, that's a very simple story. Um, back when I was 18, yep. uh, basically I met someone online, lovely lady friend, Yep. Um, and basically we played a few, we were playing a few online games together, and at one point for one of them I had to come up with a username, and I was just like, oh, I don't want to just use my name. Yep. And I, I basically asked her, what do you think? And she gave me that. And I was like, I want something kind of demonic sounding. And she she came up with that. And I was like, you know, I like the sound of that. Right. So rolled with it. And I've just had it ever since. That's yeah. a fine moniker. That is. That's that's actually really good. Very nice, simple story. Nothing too elaborate. No questing to get the rights to this name. No climbing to the top of a mountain and being dubbed as ran by the great mountain gods. But yeah. it works. I like it. It could be more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes interesting isn't always the best. Exactly. Mm. You know, that it was a name given through friendship, you know, and the power of friendship rules all. Mm. Although I do occasionally run into the people, I do occasionally run into the uh, one or two person, one or two people online that are using it for something or other, and I have to wonder if it's a real name somewhere. Right. Have you ever Googled it? No. Well, <laughs> yes, but at this point I just get my channel. Yeah. So, because you're famous. Yeah, you're Yay. famous. Yay, famous. Yay. Not really. Uh. <laughs> All right. Um, what is your favorite candy? Single favorite. If you had to pick. Mm. Are we going with uh, with actual type of candy? I, or I swear like... to God, if you get into specifics. No, 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 no. I'm actually serious. Are we talking about like a specific candy or just like a type of candy, like gummy chocolate? Well, whatever, whatever he wants. Huh? It's his pick. Just curious. You can pick a, spe a specific candy or like a specific type of candy. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'd have to go with. Hmm. Black licorice. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Wow. You never hear yeah. that. I always yeah. wanted to try that. Um, that Swedish black licorice. I think it is right. That's yeah. one that's supposed to, have to be a little salty. Oh, okay. I think that's I've what it is. I've never had that. I haven't Wait, either. You don't have black licorice in your jelly No, 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 no. That's not the same licorice. Oh. There's, there's like, regular licorice, and no, then no, there's no, I that know Swedish. that Swedish one, but don't you have black licorice in your jelly beans you just got? Yes, I do, I, but it's not the same licorice. I am aware of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you're, we know you're a fan of horror games. You enjoy horror yes. games, horror, the horror genre as a whole. Yes. What is your favorite horror game? If you had to pick one, which is a hard, you know, a hard question. Okay. It's not that difficult for me. Oh, okay. Um, because uh, if if I go out right and just say what my favorite series is, yeah, you're, you're probably aware of this. Yeah. The, the Fatal Frame. Yeah. I had so. no idea of this. This was news to me. Damn it, Egg. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a really good series. Yeah. I, I really do enjoy it. I played the second one, and it was so good. I've seen so many playthroughs of the games. They're all awesome. Mm. Can't wait till if they you... come out with a new one for the Wii! Yay! You, I should say. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's coming out mid-October, isn't it? Something like that. Yay! Yep. Oh, I need to get a Wii U. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you said Wii. Now, I, 
apart from the horror games, we know for a fact that you are a uh, Nippon Ichi fan. Who isn't? Everybody loves Nippon Ichi. Mm, some people don't. Uh, that's and true. That's their, mm-hmm. that's their choice. That's true. So, DZ, I want to ask you, what's your favorite Nippon Ichi game? Oh, okay. This, this is going to be the hard one. This is going to suck. That, that's a little bit of a hard one. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, okay, in all seriousness, out of their games, I mean... In general, series-wise, obviously, the Disgaea series is probably the best they've done. Yes. Um, yep. Now, from that, if I had to pick one of those... Oof. <laughs> wow, this is the hardest one. I thought the horror game was going to be the hard one. Nothing. Well, I mean, the thing with the horror ones... If I were to put in, take into account newer ones, like... I mean... It all depends on, um... Uh... What's the one for? <laughs> Standing up over time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, being able to go back to it. Right, right, right. Um... Replay. I don't know, maybe... Oh, <laughs> I'm torn wow, between you're... Disgaea 4... Yeah. Good call. ...and the original. The original was awesome. I never played it, but I know it's awesome. The, the original had that, like, it just had that special kind of... Charm. Charm to it. Yeah. Back before they had they made this charm their thing. Yeah. And then 4 is just, like, it's riddled with it, but at the same time, it's along the lines of, like, now you're just referencing every from everything from the previous one. Right, yeah. But in a and clever I, way. And I can't take into account some of the games I actually own, but haven't played yet. Right. Damn it, D2. Damn it, D2! I need to get to that. Side note, isn't that the one with the um, uh, cheat system, like, actually in the game that you can mess with the game itself, like, um, increase experience and all that jive for battles? Not 100% certain. I could be the wrong. Mo- the most I know for sure is that Disgaea T2 is the official, uh, actual sequel to the original. Yeah, oh, okay. and that's the one with female Laharl. Yes. <laughs> The one that looks like what's-her-name from that anime. What? Uh, Yoko? Yes, thank you. Yeah, Frozen Yoko. Okay. Possibly from an alternate universe or timeline or something. Something. Regardless. So you're going to go with either one or two, one or four? Yeah. There you go, people. Now you know. His favorite (laughs) Pony Ichi game is a Sky of Four or one. Every other Disgaea game can go suck it. You heard it here first. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't talk like that about those games. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, this one's actually kind of a, a, a serious question. Okay. Have you oh. ever wrestled a beaver in the Canadian wilderness? <laughs> no. No? Why not? No! I thought all Canadians do that as a rite of passage. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh! Where did I get that information from? Probably me. Egg. No, it's probably egg. <laughs> Damn. Would you ever want to wrestle a beaver in the Canadian wilderness? Um, I don't think so. Because beavers are, are rather small creatures. Yeah, you can so still wrestle it's it. A, it's a little weird to wrestle it's it. It's a little one-sided. Yeah, but you can still wrestle. They're yeah. feisty. They got them teeth and those stingers in their tail. What? They have they, stingers. They no, that's they platypus. Do, they don't have stingers in their tail. No, they do. Just like platypus. It's just no, not No, measured. they don't. Pl- He's platypus, Canadian. He knows. Platypus don't have stinger in their tails either. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, yeah they, they do. do. No, they have barbs on the back of their feet. That too. What? If I go pull up a picture of a platypus right now and it does not have a uh, have a spike on its tail or a stinger of some sort, are you telling me that's what's going to happen? Probably. Okay, fair enough. Because I have to admit, you're making me doubt myself now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check into that later. Regardless. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll possibly wrestle a wolf. I don't know. Okay, well, they, the wolves are easy to take down. You just kick them in the balls and then that's it. <laughs> well, if it's a lady wolf. Eh, same area. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway. <laughs> moving on. If you had a signature burger, the Dazaran okay. burger, okay. what would it be? <clears throat> hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I kind of have that. Okay. Well, yeah. What is the Dazrian burger? My typical favorite burger is basically, like, I I'm going to say this. It's a ripoff. Yeah. It is. It's basically a ripoff of the Baconator. Okay. Um, I, I actually am quite simple when it comes to my burgers. I prefer just cheese, yep. bacon, good bit of ketchup. Yep. Maybe a little extra salt, but otherwise, I'm usually good. Now, if I could mix up a few different cheeses, maybe. Yeah. And make it more than one or two patties. Yeah. I'd probably go for it. So, so if you could, actually, so what would it actually, be? Actually, oh, let me think there. Okay. So, if you could make your own burger, what would it be? The the Dazrin burger. Anything okay, let's, at your Okay, let's let's just make let's just make a monster then. Um, so to speak. So to speak. That would okay. be very fitting. Uh, I'll combine a couple different ones. So, what we'll do, we'll yep. take three patties. Three okay. patties. Angus beef. Yep, of course. So the good stuff. Yeah, right. damn right. Um, we'll go with nine strips of bacon. Only nine. We can work with that. Three in between each. Three yes. on each. Yep. And then let's add in some regular, just good old-fashioned uh, cheddar. Cheddar, okay. A little Swiss. Swiss. And maybe on top some mozzarella. Ooh, mozzarella. Interesting choice. Mm -hmm. And then go with ketchup. And this little ketchup on the bun? Uh, toasted I, bun or not I, toasted? Not toasted. Not toasted. I prefer my buns non-toasted. No, no, no. no. Take you, that how you will. No, that's um, fine. Um, and actually, I, I would normally put ketchup between each portion as well. Oh, okay. Not a massive amount, but a little. Just a little, little schmear on each burger. You know, I can see. I can get behind that. Yeah. Yes. I can get behind that. That sounds good. It's it's very simple, but clean and elegantly done. It yes. can be, it, it's great. I love it. Well, thank you. All right, and now let's move on to the other one, the Dazrian Pizza. What will be the signature pizza for Dazrian? The Dazrian Pizza. Mm. What kind the of topics? Diza. Diza. The Diza. Don't do that. Heck. I don't know the Dizzle Pizza. Tis. The Dizzle Pizza sounds good. How many meats are in existence on this planet? So you would just go for the ultimate meat lovers? Yes. <laughs> Even people? No. Even poisonous no. Uh, stuff like fugu? What about no. fish? Fish? No. Uh, Insects? Because that's not no, technically okay. meat, but that's... A... Back up, Eck. Back it up, Eck. <laughs> We're talking meat at, at that meat. point, you're just adding everything that's protein on it. We're talking about meat. Okay. As in beef, steak, chicken... Platypus, we, beaver, deer, yeah. venison. Like, I, I got to admit, I don't know what, um, I'm not 100% sure what chains you get down there. Yeah. Um, have you ever heard of a, uh, a pizza chain called Greco? Nope, that's Canadian. Okay. Canadian. No, it's just interesting. They, it's, it's, it's good pizza, although the only complaint I would ever have, it is a bit on the greasy side. Yeah. But sometimes greasy but, pizza's good. Well, once in well, a yeah. while. But they also offer, like, one of their best deals is basically a party pizza, which is literally a two-by-one-foot pizza. I like it. I'm in. Rectangle pizza. I right? like it. I'm in. <laughs> and it comes with oh, tons of meat. Oh, I always get meat lovers. Yes. Mm. And they load it up with, like, uh, sausage, uh, hamburg, Pepperoni's pepperoni, salami. salami. Yeah. Every, every ground beef, cured meat, ground meat, bacon, bacon uh, meatballs, yes. everything. Bacon yes. meatballs, that actually sounds good. Oh, bacon meatballs sound Mul amazing. Multiple cheeses if you are if you can get it. Yup. Oh, hell, stuffed crust, too, if you want. Ah, oh, why the fuck not? Let's no, just get let's just... pizza. Oh, that You remember reminds... those? Stuffed pizza. <laughs> it was a bit, we used to get these at uh, one place. That pizza, they, it was a stuffed pizza. It was like a calzone Thinly right. filled on the bottom just to make a nice filled crust, and then they put the rest of the pizza on top, like sauce, oh. cheese, all that stuff. So the bottom crust was like it, like it was a cheeseburger stuffed pizza. Yeah, it had like a I cheddar, um, some special sauces, beef on the inside, pressed nice and flat, cooked, and then on the top it had the rest of the stuff like bacon, that, cheese, more beef, everything. That, it was beautiful. that actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, I, it was great. I, I gotta admit, I, I'm trying to remember now if this was over here or not. There was a point where it might have been Pizza Hut. Yeah. Uh, one of them was offering, it was a stuffed crust pizza. Yeah. Uh -huh. But 
it wasn't just cheese? Pepperoni? No. I think it was hot dog. Oh, that was us. That was us. It was dog. It was um Pizza Hut, the hot dog crust pizza. Those I never got to try that. They're still around. They're but still God around. Dang it, I, I'll pass. <laughs> I will try it. No, but I'll I'd pass. try it. I would try it once. Yeah. No, really. it's so bad. I mean, yeah, really? I've heard so. I've heard nothing but bad things about it. Oh, okay. It's like <laughs> possibly something to keep away from then. Yeah, it's like it's not good hot quality hot dogs. Well, of course, it's like Vienna oh. sausages. It's that's what it is. It's like little. It's literally like almost Vienna sausages, like wrapped around in the dough and then placed around the pizza, so it bakes together and then you it's, pull them. It's apart. horrible. I mean, I don't mind Vienna sausages. Well, neither but... do I. But you know, sometimes mm. if you want something good, you gotta actually get something good. Yeah. Yeah. And we're no, talking I about heard. like low quality, um, like sixty nine cent cans of um, Vienna, Vienna sausages. sausages. Ooh. Yeah, that that's not a good quality. Yeah. I yeah. Don't... I'll pass. Yeah. I mean, you, usually when I hear about low quality, I hear people talking about the Oreo dessert pizza. Was it from Domino's? Oh yeah. I never had that, but it sounded good. Eh. I, I always hear people complain about that one. Well, I like Oreo, so I like anything Oreo, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. The dessert pizza. Um. I got two more questions. Okay. Okay. If you had to punch an evil mime square in the face, what would your post punch action movie catchphrase be? What? You're fighting an evil mime. <laughs> he, let's say he's trying to take over the world. Okay. You punch him square in the face. Like the final knockout blow. He goes down. Mm -hmm. What? What's your catchphrase? What do you say? What do you say when he goes down? Was this does before he, or after does the punch? He s okay. This is after, after the punch. punch. After you punch him, he's oh. out. He's down on the ground. Out for, out for the night. He's done. He's done. What do you okay. say? I have one question. Yes. When he gets hit. Yep. Does he or does he not scream? Ooh. Um, I'm gonna say no because he's 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 an evil mime, so I'm gonna say he's mute. Like, like maybe that's like, a shtick. He's that's his shtick. Mm. He's gonna stay mute. Damn. Like he can't uh, talk, so he turned to a life of evil mimery. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that. Mm. Oh god, I need to think for a second. Here. <laughs> Holy crap. Would it have been easier if he talked? Well, no, no, no. It's not if he talked. It was like I was thinking along the lines of like if he was silent like you said. Yeah. But then he still feels pain and so he's still like Well, he's not immune like, to pain. He's just don't... mute. Well, okay. Mimes normally, the idea of being a mime isn't that you're mute, it's that you choose not to speak. Yeah. Um, but, no, I was thinking if he doesn't talk, ever say a word, but then that punch, and he just kind of screams in pain, or shouts in pain, and then yeah. goes down. Because like, then you could just outright say something along the lines of, I thought mimes didn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh god, if he's silent the whole time. If he's silent oh. the whole time. Oh. <laughs> this is the you hardest can't... question. Yeah, it is. You... Like, no, you I can't... got, I got one. I got one. It's stupid, but um, if he's if he's just knocked out, not dead, you mm -hmm. always go along the lines of time to put this mime in a box. Oh, <laughs> that's good, Egg. That's that's actually good. that's actually pretty good, Egg. I gotta give <laughs> no. you props for that one. <laughs> oh man. Holy jeez. No, no, no. I'm just saying. It doesn't have to be... It's a movie catchphrase. It doesn't I have know, to be some I'm, clever pun. I'm trying not to, as good as mine. I know, but I'm trying to think of something at least cool. Like, oh, man. The one line. You, you, it makes you look super cool. It's, he, it's trailer okay. fodder. Yeah, it's trailer fodder. Oh. Uh, because I think it would be kind of... It, yeah, it would be kind of stupid if you, if you punched him, knocked him out, and then you said something like, now you'll be silent forever. Like no, because then he's he was already quiet. That sounds, yeah, that sounds evil. Yeah, that sounds more like. Well, like yeah, that something sounds like say. killed him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that, well, yeah, because you're just punching him in the face and knocking him out. You're not throwing him off a building and. Maybe that's his catchphrase. He holds up a sign. Yeah. Yes, he's Wiley <laughs> Coyote now. There we go. <laughs> oh god. Um. Oh god, I actually don't know. 
Holy jeez. I'm not good at this stuff. Um, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll just we'll just go with eggs thing, and we'll say you know we'll put this mime in a box. Um, put this mime here, in a here, box. Here's, I'm I'm just gonna slide this twenty dollars over to Egg, and <laughs> thank you for the idea. Uh, Be my <laughs> guest. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> and you gotta, that. And you gotta say it while the cops are are um handcuffing him and try throwing him into a car or something. Yes. Oh yeah, it has to be an old fashioned paddy wagon. Yes. To I like put it. this mine in a box. I like yep. it. Perfectly box like. <laughs> can't, well, believe I, I can't believe that's the question that broke him. Yeah. Out of everything. <laughs> of all the other things. I uh, I I have this horrible need for things to make sense in some way. That's fine. So that, that's that's why I kept machine. That's why I kept trying to think of something, and I don't know, for some reason I was just blanking on mimes. That's fine, man. Don't worry about it. You got it. <laughs> sort of. With help from eggs. Yeah, mm. I'm awesome. Mimes. They're and high. then, finally, the big clowns. question, DZ. <clears throat> the big <throat> question that hopefully won't stump you. <clears throat> what are you working on? What are you working on currently? Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, if you haven't been watching any of the recent stuff, uh, let's see. For the last while, there has been uh, Until Dawn is going. Mm -hmm. I'm like 17 episodes into that. Nice. Um, Out of? Bioshock. Bioshock's always uh, good. At the request of Abba Blab. Mm hmm. Abba that, Blab's sweetheart. Yep. Last episode of that goes up today, actually. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so that's finished. Yay! Uh, Dungeon Nightmares 2 now. Which is your new bay. Oh, God, yeah, I picked that up two days ago, day it came out. And it's oh. fun. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I'm going to get that, and I'm going to play let, the crap okay. out of it. Let me put it to you this way. Yep. I recorded some more of that this morning. That'll yep. come out a little later. And immediately after recording, I went on Twitter. Yep. And immediately tweeted out to K-Monkey, you're, e you're an evil genius. <laughs> uh, the guys that made the game... Uh, or yes. What's game she, I believe she is the lone developer on the game. Oh, okay. okay cool. Didn't know that. I, I learned think. something today. I think she did that alone. I'm not 100% sure. Well, perhaps her if she did. Yes. At KMonkeyBlog, if I'm remembering right. Okay. We'll try to get a link for that later. Yeah. She, oh, man. No, I've been trying to keep in contact, contact with her as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Just because... Honestly, she's made a great product, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I mean, we played the first one, and that one was that was brutal. I loved it. Oh yeah, I still need to watch your episodes on that. That's yeah. You're I got love I got it. to watch a bit of the first one, and I was just like hearing you guys like freak out. I was like, <laughs> you just wait until the actual like freakouts turn oh, up. Oh, Here, here's a question. Like it's good. Did you actually finish? No, no, we kind of rage quit. Yeah, we rage quit. Because the oh. fact that it's the permadeath thing and you have to start all the way from night one again, I said, fuck it, I'm done. We had a lot remember, on our plate that month. Do, do you remember how many nights in you got? I, Seven? Actually, no, no, don't, don't, uh... No, oh, yeah, yeah, because it'll spoil the thing. A billion. Yeah. We got through a billion nights. Yeah. There, leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> a million billion. Oh, God. No, outs outside of that, I'm still doing some of the Hearthstone stuff, Darkest mm -hmm. Dungeon. Um... Now I'm doing with uh, Tripwire and DJ and another friend of mine. Uh, we're doing Dead Island. Yeah, that looks like a fun game. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous good or bad? Ridiculous good. Okay. As long as you have other people. Right. So you, you know, suffer together. Doing it alone, it's kind of just, yeah. It's kind a of little, a drag. Eh, it's, it's okay. It's just kind of, like, it's a little boring. Right. It's yeah, kind of like a rehash of, like, Left 4 Dead 2. Well, I mean, all literally all you're doing in the game is running around and killing zombies. Yeah. That That's it. Yeah, that's it. You can uh, Pretty can much see, all there is. I can see that dragging on a bit. Yeah. There's some driving, but eh, outside driving. of that. Yeah, it drives you mad. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, EJ is not allowed to touch cars, preferably. Okay. Oh. I believe that. Uh, oh, God. You'll know what I'm talking about if you see some of it. I, I'll, I still have to check up on that. 
I will watch mm. those and find out how bad DJ drives, if he can actually drive uh, at all. Which I'm assuming he can't. <laughs> yeah. It's more that he's a bit, um... I think the term I'll use is aggressive? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Done. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I've, I've got at least a, a few good shots of me almost getting run down. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. So never, <laughs> never get play a game with him while he that he can drive with. Got it. Mental so note. No, so no, um, Rocket League. I don't even think he has. Rocket well, that's League. a little different. Yeah, but that's that's different. We're right. all in cars in Rocket League, so yeah. That's then fine. No Mario Kart then. No, you can still do Mario Kart. Like any okay, game where he's 15. allowed to. No, no, any any game where he's allowed to be in a car and you aren't. Yeah. Just stay clear of that. Yes. Okay, so no this guy at four. God damn it, What? I don't know. God damn it, egg. What? I didn't have car... Okay, never mind, never mind. No, no. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think we pretty much covered everything today. Um, I, We don't have a Sweet Tooth report today. We don't have anything interesting. Not really. Oh. So... We got jelly beans. Yeah, I got, not... I got knockoff, um... They're not knockoff jelly well, they're, bellies. They're basically knockoff jelly bellies made by somebody else, and they're they're good. They have different flavors, but they're just, I don't know. They're nothing to cry home about. And I got chewy lemon heads. They're fr uh, fruit mix. Nothing fancy there. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. I got Teddy Grahams. I, yeah, that's a great egg. I do have one question. Yes. You don't mind? Go for it. Is this a question you guys for yourself? No, it's for you two. Yeah? Do you guys have any plans for the month of October? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, any detail or no? Yeah, there's or is it details. all surprise? Uh, we're going to be playing games. We're going to record <laughs> okay. them. I'm going to do the art for them, and John's going to edit the videos up, and then we're going to post them. Yeah, pretty much that. Solid game plan. Yeah, we got a game plan. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just don't know. Curious. We're still so we're still searching for some um good games this year for some horror games. Yeah, it's just gonna be another horror horror run of um some spooky games. We were gonna do no, something else, but we're gonna wait. Oh. But we had to postpone it. Yeah, because of oh. reasons. Issues. Oh. And we're gonna leave it at that. Keep it ambiguous and mysterious. Ooh. Ooh. So, <laughs> that's it. That's what we got. This is the end of another episode of the Twins Cast. DZ, thank you for coming on, buddy. It's you're awesome. Fun. You're been a pleasure, guys. You're awesome. Everybody, go check out DZ if you're not already. The guy's awesome. I'll leave links down below. Go subscribe and follow him, but not in a weird way. I just follow him at a respectable distance. Yep. Like about two feet. Two feet, at least. <laughs> two feet. Minimum. Two feet. Maximum five feet. Anything beyond that, you're just sort of in your own little world. Yeah, you're kind of more on the lines of stalking, and that's that. We don't <laughs> want that. No, no, no. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> you're great too, man. We love you too. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Don't trip. Bye. I love you all. <laughs>